You might not see a longer game in college basketball this season, and quite frankly, you might not see a better one. Quadruple overtime victory for Alabama, 90-86, to the final score. Mike Morgan, Dane Bradshaw. Dane, I don't even know where to start. Career performances all over the place, guys fouling out, clutch plays, not so clutch plays. But in the end, somebody was going to get a signature win. That somebody tonight is Alabama. Road wins are sweet and I've been a part of these in the SEC, but I can't imagine a four overtime victory the way they had it. And Alabama had multiple chances to end this thing. They just couldn't get good looks in the end, but they kept making plays. Even when their superstars were fouled out, but South Carolina would counter with big plays of their own. But South Carolina does what they do, which is tough defense, locked down, and when the game's on the line, they get stops. And that's what they were able to do until finally in the fourth overtime, guys like Riley Norris stepped up, Avery Johnson. I mean, you've got so many guys you got a name. But I felt like it was South Carolina's superstar in Thornwell versus the team of Alabama. Yeah, that's absolutely a great point. In fact, Alabama had two career nights. Avery Johnson, of course, was one of them, the coach's son. And also Armand Davis with a career high. Sundarius Thornwell, I, I know it's a loss. But this is one of the best individual performances I've ever seen, quite frankly. 44 points, 21 rebounds. He set a new SEC record for most free throws in a game. He's their best defensive player. He played in total, let me get that right, 56 minutes. <laughs> 56 minutes in one game. He gave everything he had. And that should not be lost for a guy who's certainly in consideration for SEC Player of the Year. And his case for Player of the Year has not decreased by any means. Right. I mean, this is the second time they've lost with him in the lineup, and those two losses have been Kentucky and then here in four overtime. Oh, by the way, where he had 34 against Kentucky and then what he did tonight. But, gosh, it, I was just shocked that Alabama was able to stay in the game. And then in that second, third overtime, whichever one it was, Correct. Shannon Hale gets attacked. They get down seven. They go on an 8-1 run in overtime to get back into the game, an 8-0 run, excuse me. And I, I just thought – as good as hard as South Carolina played, I thought Alabama overcame even more adversity and had even more guys step up. Both these teams deserve some rest after this one. We're going to get some as well. Again, quadruple overtime. Alabama finally gets that signature victory on the road, 90-86, to 86, your final score.